Thank you for your time for attending this session. Um, I'm going to introduce Helen Ritterspawn. And first, before I make an introduction, this young lady is a very dynamic speaker. We met last year, and she is so dynamic. The information, the content is very engaging. So she will hold your attention and provide some relevant content and information. So rest assured, this will be an awesome session. All of them are awesome, but this is my personal, this is my personal plug. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, Helen is a project manager extraordinaire. Oh, man, that didn't happen. Um, she has certifications in project management from the Project Management Institute. She has been blogging daily for over three years at her website, anchoredscraps.com, encouraging old style correspondence, letter writing, Helen uses digital technology to reach other analog kindred letter writing souls. <laughs> Furthermore, you can hear Helen being interviewed on guest podcast appearance of episode 11 of the blog you want in the time you have podcast. If you find the idea of blogging on a regular basis is elusive and or wonder how you sustain blogging ideas, then this WordCamp Birmingham presentation is for you. You will want to join Helen for 12 lessons for daily blogging for over 1,200 days and still counting. Wow. It will include a look back at previous 2017 and 2018 WordCamp Wilmington presentations, sharing lessons from blogging over 900 days and 600 days respectively. Helen's presentation will help inspire you to increase your blogging frequency and with confidence. So I give you help. Thank you. And y'all, this is Coach Jackson. And as he said, we met last year at WordCamp Wilmington. And your, when is your presentation? Uh, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. And this guy helps tell you how to promote yourself with social media. You want to see Coach Coach Jackson. You do a lot of work with a lot of kids, don't yes, you? Sir. Yeah. You want to you want to see him. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there's several things, and we are going to be a little different for you. I know that you've already had your morning diet coke, coffee, hot chocolate, your drink, pardon? Loading caffeine, Loading caffeine dose, okay. So we are going to be doing some things. First of all, I wanna let you know that what I'm showing you today, I have a handout for you at the end of the presentation. You don't have to write all this down. Okay? I want you to think about how this applies to you. Okay? And I'm only doing one word per slide, with the exception of a quote. Um, and can you all hear me okay? Um, okay, good. All right, so we've got a couple of things to do. And I'm going to be referring to my, I'm an analog lover, okay? So, uh, we're going to be doing, um, we're going to do a drawing at the end, but I want to start with some drawings at the beginning. And um, it may take, we can get it in the queue, but what I would like is your business card in here. If you don't have a business card, you can have one of my anchored actions. It's a to-do list. And there's 11 items on it, not 10, because you're probably the one who wants extra credit for writing an extra thing down and then crossing it out. So I'm gonna pass this around. If you don't have a card, write your contact info on here. If you think you might like to pen pal with me, I mean, I really will write you back and Coach Jackson will tell you, I wrote you, didn't I? Yes, you did. I did. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go around and um, business card or contact info uh, that I'd like it for the drawing. So let me show you what you get for the drawing that you're participating with. Um, WordCamp Birmingham uh, has offered, they had this with the speakers last night, but it's a lovely set 
of WordPress coasters. Okay? So that's in the queue. And we also have um, my, of course I would have one, Anchored Scraps is the name of my blog, Address Book, old style. Some of you may admit you still have one. It's okay, but it, we're doing this in the drawing. Okay, so those are the two things in the drawing. I love letter writing. And one of my blog posts was on the Star Wars. These are a panoramic postcards. Don't get too excited. I'm not having one person get this. What I'm doing is we're going to unseal it, and we're going to send it around, and you get to pick one postcard. And I'm hoping you'll put it in the mail to someone, and you can even send it to yourself. OK? I was at work camp. OK? Notice my idea of postcards here. But I'm going to have you break the seal. And you can pick out the first one, and then we'll pass it around. And um, I am going to ask that we hold our comments. I'll do you know, questions at the end. And I am doing a table talk at lunch on blogging ideas. OK, so if you're making the rounds at lunch, I will have a table talk. Okay, um, thank you so much for being here this morning. I have no idea what it took for you to get here this morning. The car may have needed gasoline. It could have rained on you when you were getting the gasoline. Um, you may have had family obligations that you had to work extra to be able to be free today. You may have had to do some bartering with time with a spouse or significant other to be able to be free for the day. So I'm really honored. Uh, thank you so much for being here, OK? So I just want to let you know I really appreciate it. So we are going to start. Guess what? 12 lessons means there's 12 letters. The first one is W. This is according to Helen. OK, so W is for WordPress. And what I want to mention here is I love WordPress.org. You may have your site with a, through the WordPress.com. And um, how many of you here are first-time word campers? Fantastic. OK, I cannot stress enough to you the importance of coming out to those meetups for your local word press meetups. And if you have the opportunity, volunteer with the WordCamp um, in your local area. And how many are here from the local area? OK. And how many are from out away? Wow. OK. You all make sure when you put your address down, if you don't have it on a card, make sure you tell me a zip, OK? Um, the other thing is, is when I presented at WordCamp Wilmington last year, well, I now have two pen pals from WordCamp Wilmington. And one young woman was just getting her master's degree and wants to launch her blog. And so we've just been corresponding, and it's, you know, encouragement. OK? Um, so continuing, I've got a lot to cover. R is for Ritter Sporn. It's my last name. It's my married last name. Proud of it. Um, what this means is for you, I want you to insert your name here. And what that means is, when I started blogging, it said, blog post by Helen. Well, now it says Helen Ritter's born. And so what I'm stressing is, um, declare yourself. Now, my, my blogging has been sharing a passion and a hobby that, you know, I love. Your application may be for work or for business. Your company may have some policies about how they want to show it's who. But um, I'm just saying, 
you know, if it is your company, try to make it a little more, you know, sometimes I've seen where they'll do the initials on a tweet of which person at that company was that voice. And um, the reason I want you to insert your name here is this is for branding yourself. I started my blog when I was um, back on, con I was on contract with IBM and I was blogging every day, um, you know, I'm a project manager, but blogging every day, but this is branding me. So you may even have a company and you're blogging for your company, but you may want to consider uh, having your own blog. And just be yourself. I is for identify, and the first one is as in attribution. On my blog posts, I, you can see the progression. I used to, within the blog post, say, oh, and this photo is from Wikimedia Commons, and it is by da 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 da. And it's very distracting. So what I do is at the bottom of my blog post, I have a thank you to the following who are referenced and the attribution area. And I list everybody. And that's where, depending, I try not to do a lot of links inside the body of the post, um, but I put everything, I do reference it, you know, sources. The other thing on this is um, I'm having to identify, I'm one of these people that found it very helpful to have a monthly recap. So the last day of each month, because I blog daily, I have a monthly blog post. It's a summary. And I had to, I started numbering all my blog posts before I hit 100. Figured out I started having to tie some reference number to them. So it's been very helpful if you're at my website on the left, if you're not on the mobile view of it, you can go and view monthly milestones and uh, milestones. The milestones shows every hundred blog post. And, um, you know, it was a really big deal when I hit a thousand. So, but you can go over there and um, is assigning it a category. T is for tell. And the most important thing on this I want is for you to tell your stories. If you've got a hobby that you're most interested in, um, we'll, we'll talk about mission statements and coming into focus with what you want to blog about. But the T is for tell your stories. It's also, for instance, I have on Twitter, I'll do a post cross-referencing my post. And um, some of the things I blog about are with letter writing are um, fountain pens, typewriters. I had one manual typewriter when I started. I now have six. Um, postage stamps, when a new stamp comes out. Well, because I cross-reference on Twitter, I chose that channel. Well, I put at USPS, Postal Service. Well, the first time they retweeted me, I about passed out. And it's taken a couple of years, but they now follow me on Twitter, which I'm just ecstatic about. But I'm just saying, you start building your audience. And um, on Twitter, there is a hashtag of blog chat. Are any of you involved on Twitter on Sunday nights? If, how many of you tweet? Okay, if you do a, a hashtag blog chat, um, Matt Collier, who's here in Alabama, he hosts on every Sunday night, I think it's um, 9 o'clock your time, it's 9 o'clock uh, Eastern, um, but they'll have different people. And I was, uh, one of my milestone posts, I was interviewed there for my 1,000th post. But uh, he's been doing this for over eight, 10 years. It's very impressive. But you'll meet other bloggers who are also very social. So it's just something to think about. Encouragement. I really think people like being around someone who's positive 
and um, you're going to choose to have an RSS feed, you're going to choose to have an email blog subscriber from me, or wherever you go, and I just find that I have, I've even, if you do a search on encouragement, um, there's blog posts on it. I just think everyone's trying to do the best they can. And, you're, um, and again, with this being a daily journey, um, so just think about what you have. You may have some really specialized subject matter expertise. And, you know, I remember thinking, oh, everyone knows how to take Excel. They're, everyone knows how to take their address book and export it into a CSV. Everyone knows how to do that. Well, I thought, well, maybe they don't. So I did a two-part blog post on it. And I had people like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, it's really basic, but it helped. By the way, the email blog subscriber service I use is called FeedBlitz, and they're just wonderful. Alice for Legacy. And um, this, um, this gets personal fast, as it did with my first blog post. My first blog post uh, does three things. And um, in there, I give my mission statement. I also reference the four W's of why you're blogging, which credits Matt Collier with blog chat. Um, and uh, I had decided, I started blogging in February of 2015, and I had decided uh, two months before that that I was going to blog. And um, I was still struggling with what my voice was. Well, what am I going to talk about? You know? And um, very unexpectedly in January of 2015, um, uh, my dad passed away unexpectedly. And I remember, I, I did his eulogy, and I remember having the um, family photo made afterwards. And I was sending a photo to everybody, and a letter to every person, and I said, I know you can look at a digital picture, but I really think seeing it is going to help anchor our memories. So I always attribute my naming of my blog as my dad's lovely parting gift. Okay, anchored scraps, he was in the Navy. Um, just, it just all worked for me. The other um, thing with this is I, um, I do love uh, analog and um, I'm looking at long term and pictures I take of and showing some of these old typewriters, you know, I think of um, things we take for granted that just will not have, may not be commonly seen in time. So I just like for me having a legacy. This is probably why you're here. Blog topics are everywhere. I'm driving down the road to go to the beach. How many of you have driven down the road and there's the guy with all these tie-dyed t-shirts. It's out on a clothesline for sale. The guy looks like he tie-dyed them. So you're like, hmm, so I'm thinking about tie-dyed t-shirts. Well, I have a blog post on tie-dye stationery. No kidding, someone makes it. So. That was my inspiration, okay? Um, and we'll talk about this with the table talk at lunch, but you really think about, I do with, um, because I have a theme of everything related to letter writing, I do have it under an umbrella of topics and main categories. So think about what it is you're passionate about. Um, it could be a hobby, it could be a sports car, um, it could be a collection you have. It could be a nonprofit organization you're involved with. It could be just something you're really passionate about. And think about all the different things related to it. Uh, for instance, um, typewriters. There's a wonderful California typewriter. It's a documentary that came out this last year. Tom Hanks is in it with his collection. He has an app, and when you type on your uh, your mobile, it has a typewriter sound. Okay? 
it's related, it's under the umbrella. Trust. Uh, when you're reading my blog, you trust that if I have a link that I have vetted it, you trust that, you know, it's okay. Uh, if I have a, I'll take a, a snapshot of an image and embed around and embed it, like of a embedded YouTube. Well, they're trusting that when they watch it, it's what they're expecting and they've come to trust me for. Um, everyone has a different style, but you can find out pretty quickly what your audience is. And I would suggest if you think you might want to change it, kind of warn people. Um, but there's just no surprises. Um, I'm not trying to go for shock value or anything. Um, so just, you know, just think about you want people to trust you. Time. You may decide that I would really like to blog and I want to blog on a weekly basis. I have come from WordCamp. I'm going to do it once a week. That's 52 weeks. Let's go. Okay. It's coming up on a week. I'm going to next week blog every day once a week. Okay. But make a commitment of whatever your frequency is. You may decide you're going to do it monthly. Okay. You're going to write 12 this year. Okay. That's, that's really good. I actually think for a long-term viewpoint, you'll then be able to see you post to something every month. You know, when you look at by category, they'll see, gosh, this person posted every month. Now when they open it, you may have only posted once, but you posted every month. Instead of, wow, they started out strong and never heard from them again. Okay, you, you know what I mean? So better to like, I'm gonna blog twice a month. I might could do that. And you could blog on the 1st and the 2nd, you could blog on the 28th and the 29th, but then you're going to show two because they put a little number next to it if you view it that way. Okay? But you want your time. Um, you may decide, I'm only going to do it quarterly, I'm only going to do it once a year, or nope, I don't want to do this. Fine, but declare it. Okay? And with your time, um, there's some things that come with this, and that's realizing, um, making the when I decided after I'd been blogging and was still going every day, and then I thought, well, I'm going to make it to 100. Um, I realized that um, it meant other things didn't happen. And from day, you know, from day one, I had made the decision I, you know, working full time, uh, everything going on, I said, I'm sorry, but I do not have time to curate comments. So I have never had comments enabled on my site. But the ex um, example I was using was uh, Seth Godin. He just doesn't. So, you know, my decision was, uh, and he had said, he had the choice, he could either curate comments or write. So, I don't have comments enabled. You may want the comments enabled. That's your choice, but realize the time factor it's going to take. And um, the other thing on that is um, it is going to take you some time. And so, there have been week weekends when we do a day trip, and I remember the day before I changed smartphones, but. My husband, just so nicely, we'd pull into McDonald's so I could use the Wi-Fi to upload my blog post that day. Okay? It took some time out of our day, but, you know, I had the commitment there I wanted to do it. So just, just realize that um, the, the time it's going to really take you. You may, um, maybe, be, uh, this uh, is my quote. I had this, I think, on my, I started posting it every time on my 200, 300, 400 daily blog post. And this is my viewpoint on procrastination. Any tendency for procrastination must be contained to within the 24 hours each day because the timestamp is going to happen 
regardless. And there are days, you know, it's, you know, 1030 at night, but I've gotten everything else that I had to get done. Um, you know, you may have started with a 6 a.m. conference call to some other country, but, you know, I did post, but there's that timestamp. So, okay, you may say I'm going to blog every week. Okay, well, what's your commitment? Just what, however you bind it, that timestamp's going to happen. Okay? Um, you may be a bit surprised by this uh, statement from me about enthusiasm. And um, I have found that how you feel about things does convey on how you write. Okay? And so it is, um, I am passionate about letter writing. Um, when I realized that this was at the same time I wrote my first blog post, when I realized I, I had a pen pal when I was 10 years old with a young girl in, in England. And my mother and her her my mother and her mother had been pen pals. And I just have always loved this. Well, um, what I realized that my whole focus in writing my blog would be to connect with, I'm going to use technology to connect with 50, 50 other kindred letter writing souls in the world. And everyone else is welcome to come along. And they're all welcome to read with me. But that's my focus. And I now have uh, 30 pen pals. And I got a, um, when I had my thousandth blog post, one in Cal California and one in Canada, sent me the most beautiful handmade cards with this milestone. And well, they're pen pals. They love writing letters. You know? So my point to you is um, whatever that um, passion is you have, Figure out if there's something that you really get excited about. And has the thing made it away around the room yet with all the cards? Okay. Uh, has it gone all the way around with everyone? Oh. Okay, I'm trying to honor her. I'd say I'd do the drawing sooner. Okay, well, we'll do the drawing when this thing gets back. Okay. Redundancy. How many of you run backups on your site? How many of you have a backup so that if you left your host provider, you could still start your site? How many of you are going, what? <laughs> OK. Um, we're not going into that here, but um, I use Backup Buddy which I learned about at my local WordPress meetup. Okay, I, I use them, it's a premium service, but I run backups. So I've got down there redundancy. Also, how many of you have, have you, how many of you blog? How many of you have a printout of every blog post you've ever done? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I am, I am exploring a service that I'm very excited about because you can imagine um, my mom, my aspiration is to give her every blog post. Well, so far 2015 or two books is thick, okay, because of every day. But, we're, but anyway, I'm exploring a plug-in because the way my site is designed, it has a header image and that makes it more unique in doing the export. But we've tackled it, I think. And so, how many of you have a printout of at least what your current site looks like? How many of you have ever taken a picture of it just so you could say, yippee? <laughs> okay. I would like to challenge you with the idea of when you, wherever you are, like 
back to school come September 1, okay? Take a snapshot, take a printout, and then next six months from now, do another snapshot. You can just see how you've changed your look and feel. My tagline has changed a little bit. You might go, what did I say? Okay. Again, this is where I'm not suggesting you kill a lot of trees. However, um, I'm also one of these people that I just, you know, having an IT background, I like backups. Okay. Y'all going to remember this? Okay. All right. Seth Godin, how many people here read him? He has blogged over 7,000 posts. 7,000. He just, his website just got updated a little bit on the look and feel, and now I'm having to re-figure out where things are. Um, I reference him in my first blog post. I read this man every day for 10 years. And you know what he said? He talks about the lizard brain. He talks about fear. And his point was, do something. Don't think about it. And this whole time I'm reading it, and it's the round to it, so I'm going to get around to that. Um, one of his books had just come out at the time. It's in my first post. And um, it's, it's in there, but his books are just phenomenal. I've probably got like five. And his giant coffee table book, Adam, do you have the 800 page one? I was one of the early uh, help supporting that thing, and my name is in the book. I was just ecstatic. It was very, it was just, you know, if he comes out and says, I'm going to publish a book, you just, here, I'm ordering. You, you, you want to do that. Um, 17, I don't know how many books with marketing genius. Yes. From TypePad to WordPress. And I, um, every time I reference him, I strive to send him a handwritten letter sharing it with him. And he'll actually email me back. It's just go hell and go, you know. But it, I'm, I'm telling you, you read them every day, and it just, it was get up and get over your fear. Um, I, I'm a scrapbooker and um, have done over like 58 scrapbooks. And um, I'll never forget uh, being at a scrapbook event, and usually, you know, you'll be there. This was before we had the uh, digital cameras. You had to take your 35 millimeter, come back with your packages of prints, lay it out old school, okay? Uh, now I do a hybrid where I do a combination of digital pages that I print 12 by 12 and insert them in a traditional album. Okay. So, I will share with you something. Cut me to the core. I was at an event one time and this person was there and her viewpoint was this was something she had to slog through. She really didn't want to be doing this, but she's doing it for her family. And she looks at me and said, well, you don't have any children. What do you possibly have to say? And I was just, sorry about the mic, I, I was like, and I just thought, well, that tells me what she thinks about scrapbooking. It's a chore to her. I love it. And I have a lot to say. And I'm the cool aunt. <laughs> and I pin pal with my nephews. And it's just such a joy. Okay? So, what that means to you is, each of you have something to say. You really do. You have something in you, in your heart, um, at Easter each year, from uh, Maundy Thursday through Easter, everything is related to Easter. Christmas, I do, I do share. And, but like I said, be you. 
That's what my acronym spell, my acrostic spells, write letters. <laughs> Did you see it coming? Did anyone write it out? Yeah. So, with that, that's the words for each one. And if I run out, I had 50 of these made. And on the back, you, if you want to show up on September 1st, I have a soft launch of my WP Olympia training where I was strongly encouraged by a fellow WordCamp person to, it was time for me to start my own business and it's to train others on how to navigate the WordPress and, you know, you've got it installed, but now what do I do? So that's what I'll be doing. So, these are, and may I ask a favor, can you hand these here for you and Coach Jackson, and if you can do that side. Sure. Okay. All right, do we have the thing back for the door prizes? Did anybody not provide the business card or sign the form? Okay, have we got it? Okay. Have the postcards been making their way around? The uh, Star Wars? Okay. And so that's my last slide. Also, I encourage you to be a presenter at WordCamp because, you know, my guidelines for presenting today was I read a blog post by Seth Godin on how to be a presenter. <laughs> and he said, minimize how many words per page, have a handout at the end. So, you know, my thank you, sincere thanks again to him. Okay, did everyone... Okay, so we're going to do the drawing. And um, is that Chloe? Chloe, can you come up and draw, please? And the first thing, are the coasters circling? They're right. Ah, ha ha. <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to draw for are the WordPress coasters. Oh, you want them? Okay. Oh. Just add, add them in there. <laughs> oh, okay. So. The envelope. The envelope. <laughs> okay. Oh Mark Griggs. Mark Griggs. Hey, congratulations! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do one more. Thank you. Stay up. I appreciate it. Okay. And we're going to do one more. And this is for the Anchored Scraps address book. Okay. And I'm going to have Chloe draw one more. Okay. Melissa Miller. Melissa Miller. Congratulations. Okay. So, um, that's it. That's it. Are there any questions? You talked a minute ago about an app. Yeah. Which app? Were you looking into developing it, or you were looking at it? I'm actually looking at a plug-in, a service that's helping me do my, when I do my export. It takes my export from WordPress and lets me format it. So then, it's not doing a print style sheet, it's helping me not have to do that. What's the name of the plugin? Uh, I have to look it up. I've got his email with me. Okay. I'll be glad to get with you, yes. Okay. And you'll see, over time, I'll have these different for Mother's Day this year, I'm going to try to get the book for mom. You know, you just kind of see me going on this journey. Other questions? Yes? So you, in your pen pal, you said you're, you're manually writing? Yes. And you mentioned something about fountain pens as well. Do you yes. Use a fountain pen well? I, I do use the fountain pen on special occasions. Oh, okay. And one of my favorite uh, pen pals, um, he'll share, this is with the nib, da-da-da, and this color ink. 
I just adore him. He's wonderful. I learn a lot from him. So yes, real fountain pens. Are, are we good? Thank you so much for being here. Are you on Instagram at all? Pardon? Are you on Instagram at all? Um, my